What's going on guys, Marky Williams. I know a lot of working professionals dread the fact that their employees are trying to make them take professional growth courses, which doesn't have anything to do with their field of work, right? So I'll put together five certification courses, which could make an impact to your job description. So go ahead and check those out. But first, let's get into the intro. Come and check out these five best online courses for working professionals. Some of us dread the professional growth courses that employers often encourage their employees to take, but picking the right course can turn something you try to avoid into an experience you actually learn from and enjoy. Hey, what's going on? This is Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. Enjoy the tutorial and the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Subscribe so you won't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up and comment below as to what you would like to get certified in and I can also send you links personally to check out. So let's get started with number one. Business management. We'll begin by discussing the elements you must use to effectively implement your strategic plan. In this lesson, students will study vision statements, purpose and mission statements, and discuss goals, objectives, strategies, policies, and procedures. You will learn how to organize resources so employees can perform their job duties and relate to one another in the most effective way possible. It will share the purpose of the organization and present several coordinating principles including authority, power, and span of control. It will also spend time exploring the staffing functions and evaluate the elements of the recruitment. This course will go over the most important factors which is the money. This lesson will show you how to use the major budgets including the department administration budget also known as expense budget, the production material budget, the maintenance, repairs, and operating, MRO budget, the capital budget, and zero-based budgeting, and much more. Think and Process Certification Course Some of the world's leading brands such as Apple, Google, Samsung, GE have rapidly adopted the design thinking approach. And design thinking is being taught at a leading university around the world, including Stanford, Harvard, and MIT. But do you know what design thinking is and why it's so popular? Here we'll cut to the chase and tell you what it is and why it's so in demand. Design thinking is often referred to outside the box thinking as designers are attempting to develop new ways to think what to do, do not abide by the dominant or more common problem solving methods. At the heart of design thinking is the intention to improve products by analyzing and understanding how users interact with products and investigating the conditions in which they operate. At the heart of design thinking lies also the interest and ability to ask significant questions and challenging assumptions. One element of outside the box thinking is to falsify previous assumptions to make it possible to prove whether they are valid or not. Once we have questioned the, and investigated the condition of a problem, the solution generation process will help us produce ideas that constraint and facet of that particular problem. Design thinking offers us a mean of digging that bit deeper. It helps us to do the right kind of research and to prototype and test our products and services so as to uncover new ways of improving the product, service, or design. Design thinking phases consist of empathize with your user, define your user's needs, their problems, and your insights, ideate by challenging assumptions and creating ideas for innovation, solution, prototype to start creating solutions and test the solutions. Along the way, design thinking processes counteract human biases that thought creativity while addressing the challenges typically faced in reaching superior solution. Lower costs and risk and employees buy-in, recognizing organizations as collections of human beings who are motivated by varying perspectives and emotions. Design thinking emphasizes engagement, dialogue, and learning. By involving customers, and other stakeholders in the definition of the problem and the development of the solution, design thinking garner a broader commitment to change. Soft skills certification, decision making. This certification course, you will learn how to have empathy in your decision making and learn how to delegate workloads evenly. So what are some of these soft skills? Teamwork, 
cooperative, get along with others, agreeable, supportive, helpful, collaborative. How about interpersonal skills? Nice, personable, sense of humor, friendly, nurturing, empathetic, has self-control, patience, sociability, warmth, social skills. Communication, oral speaking capabilities, written, presenting, listening, clear speech and writing. Positive attitude, enthusiastic, encouraging, happy, confident. You will learn how to make the best decisions possible when time and information are limited, but you're under a lot of pressure to take action. This course will help you cope with uncertainty and prepare for the unexpected. You'll learn techniques that can help you relax and cope better regardless of what may be happening around you. Have you ever made a mistake? Do you expect that you may someday make another one? If so, then the topics explored in this lesson are important. You'll learn about some of the main reasons people make poor decisions, as well as both healthy and unhealthy ways to respond to your own errors. You'll learn how to recover from the mistakes, turning them into opportunities to learn and grow. Guide to Managing Your Newly Remote Workers With a new style of working which consists of employees working remotely, the IT department has their hands full protecting their company from viruses and new hackers that are trying to get in through their employees network since they're at home using their run-of-the-mill network. But these employees still need to connect to their supervisors and management team. This online course will go over how to successfully manage your remote workers. Employees and managers may often express concern and lack of face-to-face -face interaction. Managers may have concern that the employees may not be working as hard or efficiently, depending on their position. On the other hand, some employees struggle with the reduced access to their managerial communications or support. They may feel the manager are not in tune with their needs and aren't being supportive enough in getting the job completed. How managers can support remote employees. There are also inexpensive and quick things that a supervisor or manager can do to ease the burden of setting up their employee's home-based workspace and to ease their anxiety for failure. Remote managers can set up daily calls in to their remote employees. This could be done on a one-on-one -on -one call via phone or video, or they could do a team call and have the team clip up some Q&A before going in to make sure everyone is on the same page. Also try to keep the same time frame for those meetings. You can even send out appointments to the team. Establish a rule for engagement. When a manager set expectations, remote work become more productive and satisfying. Just as I mentioned above, let the team know what will be the best time to meet up and find a common ground so everyone that needs to be there is there. Some employees may be available in the mid-morning versus later on in the afternoon and vice versa. It is best to set that rule of engagement as soon as possible. Encourage remote social interaction. Here you will learn if the employee was still working in-house, informal conversations, non-work topic will be underway all day. So managers should encourage this type of interaction while working remotely. The easiest way to establish some basic social interaction is to leave some time at the beginning of the team calls just for a non-work chat. You can start off by saying, what's going on this morning? How was everyone's weekend? You can hold a virtual office party and care packages can be sent to remote workers in advance. All of these options will help ease the anxiety and feeling of isolation and start promoting a sense of belonging again. The next course here, Business Ethics, the Advanced Original Version. Here, ethical leadership requires ethical leaders. If leaders are ethical, they can ensure that ethical practices are carried out throughout the organization. Character and integrity provides a strong foundation for other personal characteristics that direct our ethical beliefs, values, and decisions. This course introduces the concept of ethical leadership, which is an integral part of any business. When acting unethically, Companies are not only breaking the laws, but doing their industry a great disservice. In this course, you will learn about many different of ethical leaderships, the core principle of the ethics, and the tools used by different types of ethical leaders. This course, you will learn to be people-orientated and aware of how the decision impacts others. They therefore use their powers and authority to serve the greater good instead of self-serving interests. For employees in the organization, you will learn the four V's model of ethical leadership as a framework that aligns leadership, internal beliefs and values with his or her external behaviors and actions for the purpose of advancing the common good of employees, leaders, 
organizations, and beyond. The values, the ethical leadership begins with the understanding of the commitment to the leader's core values. By discovering the values which makes up the core of our identities and motivators, we begin the process of integrating our unique values with our choice in our personal, professional, and civic lives. The vision. The vision ethical leadership requires ability to frame our actions within a picture of what we ought to be, and particularly in the area of service to others. The voice. The voice of an ethical leader must be able to articulate their vision to others in an authentic way that enlivens them into action. The virtue. The virtue the ethical leaders strive to do what is right is good. They practice virtual behaviors by asking how are my values, visions, and voice in alignment with the supporting of the common good. Through this entire course here, you will learn ethical leadership is the management style that works for any organization. These are the top benefits for a company that relies on ethical leadership. Positive culture, improved brand image, scandal prevention. Yeah, ethical leaders don't create bad PR for a company. Company scandals can be damaging to the organization image and cause customers to turn to the competitors. You will learn loyalty. Both employees and customers are more likely to remain loyal to companies that hire ethical leaders. Many thanks for taking some time out to check my tutorial. As I mentioned, there is much more to these certification courses here. All of the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any trending certification courses you may want to pick up. As always, hit that like button if you find this tutorial informative so I can continue making more content. Comment below as to what you'd like to get certified in and I can send you a link personally to check out. Please feel free to browse my other links of my tutorials that I have on here as well. Once again, many thanks. Marky Williams and I'm out.